July 11th, Southern Ontario. So a few more of my thoughts on France before I move on to the UK elections. We saw, and I commented in a couple of videos about the desperate moves of the left to set back uh, Marine Le Pen's far right, well, supposedly far right. Anyways. Now, Macron, the president, has put himself in a position of compromise here now because in his legislation, this, these last elections were legislative, he's got to deal with this crazy mismatch of left parties, socialist, Marxist, communist parties, like self-branded, named, the pirate party. <laughs> wow. What what a madhouse it's going to be trying to get these guys together on anything. But the far-left alliance ran on policies that include scrapping Macron's pension reform, raising the public sector wages by 10%. I didn't Google what percentage of France's workers are public servants, like we have 25% here in Canada, anyways, I digress, and massively expand the French welfare state. Socialists spend, 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 spend. Uh, no wonder the mass migrants voted for the left, yeah? Where's the money going to come from? And at the same time, the European Union They've got these rules about how much debt to GDP ratio and whatnot that a country can have before the EU Commission fines said member country who's over their limit. I'm not going to go into the amounts and the statistics and stuff. France just had its credit rating dropped from AAA to AA by all the big guys who rate said business. France is going to be a hot mess, as far as I can figure, and a lot of people who are watching what happened with these French elections. Are they going to be able to get anything accomplished in their legislative assembly with all these far-left lunatics fragmented all over the place? I don't know. Well, anyways, 